In this session, I'm going to show you how to make sprites work together better. Right now, each runs its own script and does its own thing, but it's very hard to coordinate action between the different sprites. Right now I have a setup, basically like what we had from last time, two sprites, and the cat is ready to walk out in the middle of the stage when we click the green flag. So with the green flag, repeat 15, move 10 steps. And if I hit the green flag, that's what it does. I also want the dragon to walk out, and just to remind you how to do that, I drag this whole chunk of code on top of the dragon, and when I look at the dragon, I have the same code there. I'm going to move back to the cat. So for this project, my goal is to have the two characters move to the center of the stage and just talk to each other, telling a joke. When I say talk to each other, they're going to talk using written words on the screen rather than voices. If you go to the look section of commands, some of you may have already seen the block that says say hello for two seconds. So I'm going to add that to the bottom of the cat script. Instead of saying hello, I'm going to start telling a joke. Why did the cow cross the road? And if I hit the green flag just to see what's going on, we can see if this is working. Why did the cow cross the road? All right. Now I want the dragon to answer. So I'm going to click on the dragon to get to its script area and add a say block to the bottom of its code. And the dragon will say, I don't know. Once again, I'm going to hit the green flag to test it. A lot of times when you start adding to a program, it's a good idea to try it every once in a while and make sure it's doing what you expect. So let's give this a try. All right, so already we see there's a bit of a problem here. While they both spoke, they both spoke at the same time. And that makes sense when you look at the program. On the cat, it says when the green flag is clicked, repeat 15 times moving out 10 steps, and then start saying something. For the dragon, it's the same thing. So they'll both start talking at the same time. Now, we could start adding some wait statements in here to make it all work out. But to be honest, that gets a little tricky with a lot of different sprites. And while it may work out, it's probably not the best way to go. So let's try a different way of coordinating the action between the two sprites. I'm going to click on the cat again, and under events, there's a set of commands down here at the bottom that we haven't looked at yet. One says when I receive a message, and it looks kind of like the green flag, and the other one says broadcast message. So basically these are ways that the sprites can talk to each other in the program, not on the stage. One can tell the other to do something. So the cat can broadcast a message. Right now it says message one. I'm going to say new message and call it dragon turn. So this is the cat, does its movement, does its statement, and then basically broadcast a message that the dragon can listen for, and the dragon knows when it's its turn to, when the dragon has a turn to talk. So let's go back to the dragon code. I need to pull off my say statement because I don't want it to happen immediately after walking out on the stage. Instead, we're going to wait until we hear the message, and that's what this block here is for, when I receive dragon turn. So the cat says, dragon's turn, and then the dragon listens and hears that it's dragon turn, and whatever code is attached to that header starts to, starts to run. So let's see how this works. I'm going to move them back to their original position and hit the green flag. So notice the cat went. You can go back and look at the cat code here. Moved out on the stage, said why did the cow cross the road for two seconds. After those two seconds were up, it broadcast the message, dragon turn. The dragon moved out on stage when the green flag was clicked, and then that code stops. There's no more code there. Instead, it just sits there waiting until something happens. When I receive the message dragon turn, it starts to talk. Well, now we need the cat to give the punchline, so let's do another message. This time, the dragon is going to broadcast to the cat a message saying, cat turn. 
Notice I'm calling it dragon turn and cat turn. That's just for my own benefit. The computer doesn't understand what that means. It doesn't really know that it's the cat's turn or the dragon's turn. It's just easier for me to keep track of than message one, message two, and so on. So when it receives dragon turn, it says, I don't know, and then broadcast cat turn. Let's go back to the cat. And now we have to receive cat turn and say the punchline. Say, to go to the movies. OK, let's try this out to see if it's going to work right. So I hit the green flag, and both should move out. The cat talks. Why did the cow cross the road? Dragon answers. And then the cat gets a turn. This is quite a bit more complicated than just the little areas of code where you look at the top and move down one after the other. Here, you have to figure out when something starts to run. First of all, things start to run when the green flag is clicked and also when they receive messages. So looking at the cat, again, the logic is it moves out on the stage, it says the first part of the joke, and then broadcasts a message that the dragon can receive, telling the dragon that it can go. We look at the dragon. It also independently moved out on the stage when the green flag was clicked, and then it didn't do anything else except wait to receive the message dragon turn. When it receives that, the code below it starts to run. So it says, I don't know, and it also broadcasts the message cat turn. So we go back to the cat. Here we receive the cat turn message and save the punchline of the joke. So it really bounces from here to the dragon and then back. And that's the order that these instructions happen. So just by looking at this, you can't necessarily tell what exactly the program is going to do. You have to sort of track through it and see what all the different parts are to understand what's really going on here. For your assignment, I want you to make your own joke. You should follow the same pattern here, so it's not really that different. If you have trouble getting the two, take turns. Come back and look at this and make sure you understand the order of, which one is of each, each instruction here. That you start in the green flag, broadcast the message, the other sprite takes a turn, broadcast the message back, and you can give the punchline. While you're at it, make sure you add a little fun backdrop, just like you did in the last assignment. And if, you, if you're enjoying yourself, Go ahead and add something flying around the background or bouncing around or something like that. Just add some more animation in there to make it more fun. So tell a good joke, show it to your friends and family, see if you get a good laugh out of it. Have fun with it.